Hi and welcome back. Um, so just going to do a really quick tutorial here. I've been asked how I did the how I'm doing the um, mist effect for the impaler, and I'm literally using a modified uh, five volt USB mini humidifier. So. When you get this, this is what you get in your pack. So you get your little circuit board and you need a USB-C, how it arrives, which goes in and we can see we've got power. But that's no good for what we want to do with models. So we need to bypass the power and then it works on a momentary switch, which is off, on constant, or on for a short burst. And what we want is it just either on or off. So, I'm going to show you how to modify this one. So it'll uh, work for your models, because like, that's far too big unless you're building model ships. You want something that'll fit in your base, so we'll be taking this down to about that size. So I'll be back soon and we'll I'll get me soldering iron on and I'll show you where I'm making these uh, connections for power and connections to bypass the switch. Right, one of the first things I'm gonna get done is this tube, this sucks up the water. So this is like one of the essential parts. But I need them to fit in a base. So that's uh, a one one inch square cubed. What? No, one inch cubed cube. <laughs> Without a top. So I've cut these. Because I've already got my old ones still. I've got a measure. So this was cut to 1.5 centimetres. Uh, for the Americans watching... That's about uh, five eighths of an inch. And I took two centimetres off this part. And if you went for approximately uh, six eighths of an inch, you wouldn't be five off. So I'm just going to cut them bits off. That's why I've got this chopping board out. So I can chop straight on it. So that's all we need. So if you messed it up, you can. There's plenty more to have another bash at. I put the two halves of this together for obvious reasons, because it's going to be easier to cut through it all together. There. So that's the cutting over and done with. So I'll just get rid of this board and we'll start soldering a little bit. Right, next stage is um, making alterations to this little board. So, first thing I want to do is bypass the air uh, power. So we don't want to be on a USB-C, we want to be either on our batteries or whatever, but you don't want to be messing about with a usb to USB-C cable. So, if you can see these two here, they're the power. So, it's live on this side, so I'll be putting red in. And it's neutral in this one. So obviously I'll be using black. You can see I've got my help, nice uh, handy helping hands ready. So, I am going to do a bit of soldering next, and we'll try get this on camera, but no promises. 
So as you can see, I've got my board flipped over. I've got the red air uh, cable coming in through what was sort of this side when it was the other way. I've got a bit of flux on there. I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of solder. There we go, first wiring. Nail clippers are wonderful things when you're working with uh, wires. Right, so I'll get the neutral in, negative in, however you want to call it. And we'll come back and have a look at bypassing the switch. Right, so that was easy enough, just two wires, and that's the input power bypassed. That's just on my battery pack now. I just keep handy uh, 4.5 volts so I can run any of these 5 volt things. Handy little tip to get a decent battery box, because these are like about 4 or 5 quid each on eBay. But you get them free if you buy um, 30 centimetres of um, low density LED strip 5 volt and ask for battery pack so you get one of these free and it's a couple of quid cheaper than buying the battery pack on its own so a nice little handy tip there for you right so next I will show you where we bypass the switch Right, so next to control it, all we need to do is we're bypassing the momentary switch. So all we need to do is connect a wire to each of these little metal plates on this side. This is really tiny, so I'm not going to film this, but I'm going to get um, neutral on one side, like negative on one side, positive on the other. Doesn't make a great deal of difference. But um, I advise putting the positive on this on the left hand side as it's turned over with the power supply facing you. So I'll get them connected then. I'm not using them on a switch, but I will put a switch onto it just so we can see it all working. Right, I'm trying to get everything in camera here, so I've obviously got the two wires soldered onto the back. Said I was going to put it onto a switch. We're powered up from a battery. I've put this together now. As you can see, it just comes down to the bottom of the plastic. I've put the little uh, vibrating thing, whatever it is. I'm not even exactly sure how it works, but... That's with wire sides facing upwards, just so they don't get wet, obviously. I've just got it sat in a small saucer of water. Power's on. So if I flick the switch. There we go. We get our steam. Well, it's cold because it's a humidifier. Turn it off. Loose wires somewhere in here. <laughs> there we go. That was my loose wire sorted. So there we go. That's how the mist effects working. I've literally just cut apart and bypass switches on a five volt uh, mini USB humidifier. I will put the link to the one I got off eBay. I know it's going to be no good to anyone who's outside the UK, but at least it'll show you exactly what this is that I've bought. 
Um, so I hope a few of you find this helpful for your projects. Thank you for watching. Keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you. Goodbye.